Hey guys, so uh, we're here for another another overview of the of the talents and spells of uh, of the widget pre patch, and we're here now looking at the elemental shaman, and I'm going to do a quick overview of the of its spells and of the of its talents. So let, let's go forward to it, shall we? So uh, shaman now uh, both uh, elemental and enhancement have um, a resource. Uh, they don't have mana now, and it's called maelstrom. And you consume, you generate maelstrom by uh, nuking, uh, and you and then you can waste waste it on the on earth shock when it reaches uh, its full potential. Uh, flame shock has its duration increased when it reaches uh, consuming 20 as you can see and then we have uh, earthquake totem which as you can see you can place it there all right so uh, let's just see uh, here how it looks the chain lightning you can see it's uh, improved visually, pretty nice. All right, so let's do a quick uh, spell overview, shall we? So, uh, coin spirit remains the same. Ancestral spirit is your resurrection spell. Earth elemental and fire elemental uh, now have their re uh, duration. Uh, oh, it's only earth. The earth elemental had its duration uh, and cooldown decreased. Well, Fire Elemental has its, uh, it, it, it remains the same, but only the, um, the Elemental Shaman uh, spec uh, has kept these, these totems, the Earth Elemental and the Fire Elemental. The other, uh, both Restoration and Enhancement, uh, had uh, these totems removed. Sorry, I, I had a problem there. Um, so. Uh, Returning to what I was saying, uh, only uh, only the elemental shaman has continues to to possess the earth elemental and the fire elemental. Uh, a soul shift as is now the defensive cooldown. Uh, before it was a talent, and uh, it traded spots with the elemental rage, I believe, or shamanistic rage, something like that. It was a defensive cooldown as well. Uh, latent to the elemental and enhancement specs. We have the Earthquake Totem, which I have uh, just showed, and um, it consumes 50 Maelstrom, and it deals AoE damage over 10 seconds, and sometimes may knock down enemies. We have Bloodlust, uh, this is a talent, as you can see, Chain Lightning, AoE affects 5 total targets, Farsight, you know what this is. Uh, if you don't, it changes the. It's it's good for. Um, it changes as you can see your uh, point of view. Uh, so now we have uh, the fire elemental, lava burst deals damage, mega damage, flame shock. It 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 um, based on the maelstrom that it's it is consumed. It can uh, it it can or it will uh, have its duration increased. We have Frost Shock, it remains the same. Maelstrom increases damage and duration up to 100%. And then this can be boosted by an, a talent that I'll show um, uh, just a couple of minutes uh, later. We have Ewing Surge, the, uh, it costs mana. Oh, let me see. Let me see how this works. What? What mana does it cost? Oh, but it, it doesn't show here on, on LVI, I'm sorry. I have this poorly up, uh, configured. Uh, it seems to me that I have mana, but it doesn't show here, so okay. Uh, back to the talents. Hex. It's now a 50 second cooldown, and... Um, uh, and uh, before it was one minute, so that's nice. I think both, you've seen this, this is a talent. Purge, purge the enemy target, removing one beneficial magic. Thunderstorm, Saplash, 
the same user can be used while, while stunned, water walking, and wind shear, which is the interrupt. And then uh, the passives is your deck damage spell strikes, increase the damage and healing of your next two spells, well, okay. Your damaging critical strikes deal, then it has, okay. Um, your Flame Shark has a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown on level burst and cause your next levels to be instant. Okay, this is a talent. This is the Elemental Overload, uh, which is the multi strike, uh, obviously. And then we have Reincarnation. Alright, so let's take a look at the talent, shall we? So we have a Path of Flame, which says Lava Burst deals 5% more damage and causes Flame Shock to spread from the target to a nearby enemy. This would, uh, this is simple. This is these are talents of simple math. Uh, someone will do the math, and uh, the and the the, the up uh, how them. The, and the best talent will be will be chosen. So, uh, but this is probably better for an um, an, an AOE an AOE fight or uh, even PvP because uh, once you have uh, more flame shocks, you can proc more lava bursts. So on PvP uh, and arenas, uh, BKs as well pr probably uh, path of flame should be the the, tar the talent to go. Then we have Earth and Rage, which is your damaging spells inside the Earth around you to come to your aid for 6 seconds, repeatedly dealing uh, 3600 fire damage to your most recently attacked target. Fire damage and it is Earth and Rage. So this is a passive, it looks like the, the Icicles from the Frost Mage. And then we have Totem Mastery. Uh, summons four totems that increase your combat capabilities for two minutes. So Resonant Totem generates one Maelstrom every one second. Eh, one every one second. So so. Storm Totem increases the chance for Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning to trigger Elemental Overload by 10%. And with Elemental Overload, you earn more Maelstrom. Good enough. Hammer Totem increases Flame Shock damage over time by 10%. So so. And then Tailwind Totem increases your haste by 2%. So this is probably uh, the best PvE talent, I believe. And Earth and Rage, I don't know. Uh, I can see, you can see the, the Earth and Rage talent here. Um, so you can see it looks like the, the icicles from the Frost Mage. But uh, it's just it's just a random effect. Okay, so um, let's just um, use total mastery here, and uh, let's see. It doesn't have a cooldown, so we've oh we just I just drop them and um, and we keep we keep on going. So this is probably the best, uh, the best PVE uh, talent, um, definitely I believe. The Ace, the the Maelstrom, it's I believe it will, it will, uh, uh, how do I say, surpass the Earth and Rage talent. So then we have uh, on the next tier of talents we have Gust of Wind. A gust of wind hurls you forward. So this is probably like. Um, a blink or of some sort, yeah, uh, something like Displacer Beast or something. Eh. So so good for PvP or uh, uh, heavy movement uh, boss fights. Then we have uh, Ancestral Guidance for the next 10 seconds. Twenty percent of your damage and healing is converted to healing on, on up to three nearby injured party or raid members. This is a good talent uh, for um, to to help your healers. Uh, and perhaps on uh, on PvP as well. When keeping your pressure, you can you can. Uh, it's twenty percent of your damage, so it's something uh, that aligned with some of your cooldowns. Perhaps you can um, help your healer out. 
And then we have wind rush totem, summons a totem at target location for 50 seconds, continually granting all Iowa allies who pass within 10 yards, 60% increase movement speed for 5 seconds. So each and every one of these totems now have the, the totem relocator, like as a, um, it was a talent on the on the before the patch went went in was de, uh, before the patch was deployed, and now it's it is incorporated on all totems. Um, as you can see, we don't have now Earthbind, we don't have uh, the the Searing Totem, Magma Totem. There's there's no such thing now. Um, there there are no. Um, spammable totems uh, besides besides these ones which give a, a passive passive bonuses right and uh, so perhaps on a pve environment and, um, and that, that this is this is a talent to to choose uh, 60 percent increase movement speed is also uh, great for um, this is Gust of Wind is more of a of a PvP uh, talent, perhaps, or or if you have to do something on a boss fight that requires you and only you to move, and the Wind Rush Totem uh, is the best way uh, to move if you don't have like a, a Druid for stampeding roar or something. Uh, so now we have the a totem, uh, a, yes, a, a totem tire talent. Uh, so we have the lightning surge totem which is uh, which summons a totem at the target location that gathers electrical energy from the surrounding air and then explodes after two seconds instead of the five seconds uh, that it took to 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 discharge the stun so now it's just this and voila it's done uh, before and if, if you have seen my my previous videos on, on PvP, you can see uh, once I drop my capacity at the top of them, the, the enemy is just uh, a single auto attack, perhaps or a single hit on their buttons, and the, the, the totem is done is done for even with the the glyph that increased the uh, the HP of the of the totems. Then we have uh, Earth Grab Totem. It has the the same effect uh, as the Earthbind and uh, the root the Earth Grab Totem. So it's practically the same. Uh, and now it it appears on a, on a target location. Uh, okay, I think oh they they switch. Nice. That that's it. There's no. There's not not. There, there's not a difference. And then we have Voodoo Totem, uh, 30 seconds cooldown, and uh, some the Totem at target location, the Totem access all enemies within 8 yards into frogs, which are incapacitated, incapacitated and unable to attack or cast. So this is actually, this is pretty good, I believe. Um, both of them, Lightning Surge, perhaps on the, on, on, when you have to, to nook, uh, mobs or or ads or minions whatever you call the the trash or the not the trash the and, and even the trash but the the minions that come on, on boss fights earth grab totem is good uh, for kiting um when you need the, to i don't know when you can't attack uh, the ads so this is a good call or even voodoo totem but voodoo totem looks to me the best for like PvP or uh, and or um, uh, when you're facing like uh, two melees at once, Voodoo Totems seems like a good idea because uh, when they're uh, exerting pressure, you can just hey, you're both X, that's it. Uh, that's pretty nice. So uh, on the next talent we have uh, Elemental Blast, which is the the same. Uh, it has the same effect as before. Uh, I, I can show you here. Let's see if it was augmented or not. No, it's pretty much the same. So, and it increases um, a stat at random. So, um, I don't really like this one now because Ancestral Swiftness now gives 10% um, taste, and 10% taste is just awesome to me. 
uh, and that's so ancestral swiftness is perhaps my pvp choice PV, uh, pve choice and then we have echo of the elements which uh, is a passive as well and says lava burst now has two charges other effects that reset its remaining cooldown will instead grant one this is the pvp uh, talent if i may say so uh, because uh, you deal damage while from lava burst you want to be casting perhaps too many lightning bolts so you deal damage with your with your lava bursts so having two two lava bursts and then the procs accumulating uh, the charges uh, makes it the 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 choice uh, for for the pvp at least at least for me <laughs> i'm no i'm i'm not an expert so uh, now on the next on the next tire we have elemental fusion flame shock has a five percent increased chance to trigger lava surge pvp talent that's a pvp talent to me uh, we have uh, Primal Elementalist, your Earth, Fire and Storm Elementals are drawn from Primal, uh, primal element, Elementals, 80% more powerful than regular Elementals, so again this is this one for PvE and ra in the raid environment, I believe this one needs needs some math, uh, it needs some math uh, be, uh, behind so that I can claim um, so that I can choose uh, the mo the one who deal which deals more damage, right? And then we have Ice Fury. Uh, so Ice Fury has a 30 seconds cooldown, and it has the same cast as your uh, main nukes. So what does it do? Uh, what does it do? Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm messing up my English. Never mind. Let's let's skip ahead. <laughs> So, it turns a frigid ice at a target, dealing uh, 3000 frost damage and causing your next uh, 4 frost shocks to deal 400% increased damage. And then, let's, let's read what, what does frost shock. So, it chills the target with frost, causing uh, 3700 frost damage and reducing the target's movement speed by 50%. Maelstrom increases damage and duration up to 100%. So what must we do? This is instant. So uh, this one, uh, this this is probably uh, best used for um, how do I say uh, in the PvP as well. But let's see what it does in PvE. So first we'll charge. First we'll charge this one and make our flame shock. Okay, now we have this and now, whoa, you seeing this? The earth shock comes now, oh, I did not use one, one of them. But the, this is some nice damage, and I need to waste the Frost Shock with 20 Maelstrom at, at least. So, so I believe this will be my talent of choice for PvE. And then Pash. But it has, uh, it has um, a few duration. It has, the duration is is somewhat. Uh, you have to to keep track of the of your maelstrom, so that you can uh, use uh, all the four charges for your frost shock. So that's probably it. Uh, this this is this is, this is a this creates uh, an interesting uh, gameplay choice, uh, indeed. Uh, although I believe I believe this is this is a good choice for PV, PVE PVP as well, but if you choose your path of flame and uh, you meant and uh, I mean if you choose path of flame for the PVP, then you, you should choose the elemental fusion as well because they, they have a good synergy together they work well together as well as like of the elements. 
so if you don't choose Path of Flame for PvP, perhaps Earth and Rage and then Ice Fury uh, for PvP. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it because you have to keep target of your of your Maelstrom as well. Um, I don't think it will create a dynamic. Uh, it's it's something more that you have to keep track of on top of all the other classes and uh, even if you're playing on uh, three versus three uh, it, it's it's one more thing that you need to keep track of but it, I mean it, it, if you can deal with it if you can handle it perhaps it will it will it will be kind of interesting to to do so so uh, going on ahead on the next tire we have your mental mastery uh, it is the same as before, 20% haste uh, for 20 seconds, 2 minutes cooldown, uh, good to, it's good to, I believe it should be, it would work well with Ascendance, now Ascendance is not a baseline uh, spell, uh, if you want Ascendance you must uh, waste your talent there. Then we have Storm Elemental and uh, it replaces the Fire Elemental, uh, calls for the greatest Storm Elemental to hurl enemies, uh, oh, to hurl gusts of wind that damage the Shaman's enemies and generate Maelstrom for the Shaman for one minute. Um, ca could, be, could be nice. Again, it generates Maelstrom and with Maelstrom you can deal a lot of damage. Uh, here you can say you you can see in a hundred maelstrom it causes fifty eight thousand damage and the lava burst it's probably a third uh, thirty because it's crit it's always crit so um, well uh, storm elemental could be good on the PV, PVE and PVP as well. Uh, Perhaps, uh, perhaps on PVE it should be more. And then I, I'm reading here uh, uh, last last talent of this tire, of the ninety tire. Uh, Aftershock. Your spells refund twenty five percent of all maelstrom spent on them. So what would this do exactly? It would uh, it would help you with your ice fury, and, and it would even um, for a PVE environment as well. It would be. Uh, to help you maintaining your 20, uh, 20 maelstrom so that you can amplify the damage of the frost shock on top of all those uh, 400%. So this could be a nice synergy here uh, in between uh, two, two paths, the, the lava burst path and the, the ice fury uh, frost shock path, if you, if you might uh, call in that. So last tire we have the Ascendance, you already know what this does, um, it removes the cooldown on Lava Burst and uh, on a PvE environment it should be best used um, with the Mental Mastery because uh, it doesn't have a cooldown, you, you just keep on uh, wasting the, those, those Lava Bursts. Uh, and the O oh, and decreases the damage of Lava Burst by an amount equal to your critical strike chance. I don't know if it was like that before, uh, the, the formula, but it's just a, a damage output, so it doesn't uh, change anything of, of what it's played. Then we have uh, Wetting Rod. So this is kind of the passive, I believe, I believe this one is the best actually. Ascendancy only has uh, 50 seconds and then um, the cooldown of three minutes can't go along with the elemental mastery, which only has two minutes. So, uh, so I don't, I don't like it. I don't like uh, <laughs> uh, how do I say different cooldowns. Uh, you can't put it all on the micro and just press it when the cooldown comes up. So lightning rod, uh, your lightning bolt and chain lightning have a 30 30 percent chance to make the primary target a lightning rod for 10 seconds. Lightning Rod takes 40% uh, percent of all damage you deal with Lightning Bolt and Shade Lightning. So it's basically an instant, um, an instant damage uh, increase uh, 
it's it's kind of weird because Earth and Rage is practically the same as Lightning Rod. The, the effect the effect changes, but um, I don't know, kind of weird because they're both you see passive uh, uh, damage outputs. Um, I don't know. So then we have Liquid Magma Totem. Summons a, to a totem at the target location for 50 seconds that throws Liquid Magma at a random nearby target every 0 0.8 seconds, dealing 5,000 damage to all enemies within 8 yards. Ailey Talent, there's not much more to say here. So um, I've already showed you um, all the... All the... How do I mean? How do I put it? All the... Um, ah, god damn it, I'm wasting my time here. I've already sh uh, showed you the, the rotation and uh, some of the variants of the specs, so... I uh, hope you enjoyed it and... Uh, I'll just uh, keep going and uh, we you can expect... Uh, Enhancement Shaman uh, next, so... Uh, I'll see you next time.